Hey everybody, it's Rhino. And Steve. And uh, we are, if you can't tell by the Harambe sign behind me and the music in the background over here, we're at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And we're gonna get some lunch today. But we're trying something new, right? Yeah, we're going to Tusker House. I've never yeah. been. I've never been either. Yeah. Tusker House seems to be very popular. Uh, I've heard its name said quite a bit. Yeah. But I didn't know I'm... anything about it. I, I Until we actually walked over here, I didn't even know it was a character dining. I've heard a lot of friends say like, oh, you should go, and I just never have, so I'm kind of excited to. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting, but we're here pretty early. Um, I uh, This is down in the Africa area at Animal Kingdom, and um, I've drank outside at the bar out here because there's a, um, my gosh, I forgot the name of it. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you in a second, but um, we are here super early for our reservation, so we were thinking maybe we'll sit see if they have any sort of like fun themed beverage to like start the yeah. meal off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ease the nerves into the non-cheeseburger, non-chicken nugget territory that Steve is about to venture into. I'm excited. Be brave, Steve. Well, you're as excited, much as so. You don't, I, I like other things, so I'm gonna like this meal. He's determined. So let's head over to the bar. We'll check that part out and see what's what. Okay, the name of the bar is the Dawa Bar, D-A-W-A. -A. And um, it's a nice little place. It's all pretty much shaded, but we it's got a couple of uh, tables that we found in the sunshine out here. And it's a nice Florida winter day, a blistering 70 degrees, so we're out in the sun. Um, but what'd you get, Steve? I got the Tikiti Punch, and it has vodka and watermelon lemonade. And it's really, really tart, but it's really, really good and sweet. And I like sweet drinks. How much was it? It was nine dollars, so you know, pricey for but for Disney, it's not too it's, bad. It's yeah, it's like the price of a mixed beverage. Right? Uh, so I got, excuse me, I got Lost on Safari, <laughs> and uh, mine was ten seventy five plus tax. And uh, could you read me what's in mine, Steve? Yes, I will. It, there is. I'm oh, sorry. You have Pink Pigeon Rum, Captain Morgan Rum and Pangini Punch. They compared it, uh, the, the bartender, she compared it to um, like a rum runner, um, but whatever the pan, what'd you say, Pangini? Pangini Punch. Pangini Punch is in it is delicious. This is a, like an excellent drink. And it's like, I can taste the alcohol, but it's when you first got overpowering. It, I it, when you first got it, I thought it looked like a Long Island, but I guess it's not. No, 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 no. It's it's sweet, but not like too sweet. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Yeah. Give it a give it a sip. Oh yeah, that's really good. You want to try mine? Yeah. Yeah. It's like is there, it almost tastes coconutty. Oh, yours is good too. It's very refreshing. Yeah, mine's yeah. Super, that. Two good choices. Two yeah. good choices here. So we're just waiting out our reservation. We went to go check in, and they were, they said they can only check in about fifteen to twenty minutes early, with the the way it's going right now. But we got a nice spot here. We're kind of off to the side. It's a little quiet right now. Normally we'd go over to the Nomad Lounge and talk over there, but we, we were like, we're gonna try something different today. Yeah. So Tower well, Bar, and check also, it out. This is kind of right near our reservation, so yeah, it's pretty easy to just get back and go over there. Yeah. So. So it's good, we're just gonna wait it out. We've got about uh, only like 15 more minutes to go. So we'll finish these drinks and then we'll head on inside. Just sat down at the restaurant, uh, a table in the back, cozy table for two. And um, initial impression, Steve, go. Uh, I like it so far, I like the theming. They have like little tools and statues and like, I don't know, little themed, themed items all over. So yeah. I like the theming. Um, yeah. And you know, it looks like the buffet had lots of options, so I'm excited to see what they have up there. Well, I like uh, when they walked us in, they kind of, they showed us the buffet area, and I'll say a difference here between Boma is it's wide open. So, like, the buffet area is very separated away from where you're you're dining. Yeah. And so it seems a lot less claustrophobic. I, al I also noticed compared to Boma, one of the things I, my pet peeves at Boma is that it's, like, kind of one long line. Yeah. And so 
if you are only like what like the soups that are all the way at the end, you kind of like have to awkwardly stand behind people because you don't want to feel like you're budging them or cutting them in line. But here it's like kind of seems like separate stands almost where like I won't feel as bad getting a plate and just like jumping over yeah. to a different one. Though. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, I will say too, stepping in the door, it smells amazing. Yeah. So um, I think uh, enough talking because my stomach is hurting. We're going to go get some food and try that part but, out. But also, we also did see the characters walking around. So I'm excited to meet them as well. Oh yeah, that is a good point. Walking in right away, we saw uh, Daisy, Donald, Goofy, Mickey. Are you leaving one out? Were there, there was four, right? Five? Yeah. Yeah, so um, they're already meeting people, so we need to go get food so we don't miss them. And they come around to every table, so let's go! Always in the children's section. Yeah. Gotta get the mashed potatoes. Slash mac and cheese. Okay, Steve, what do you think of the food? Okay, so so far, everything's been super good, really good. But my favorite thing has been the shrimp and bacon soup. What was it? Is that what it was called? Uh, it's shrimp, bacon, and quinoa. Yeah, very good. Uh, it like the bacon part is just like almost the smoky flavor, and then the sh there's like chunks of shrimp, and overall that's my favorite part so far. It's just a really, I was like dipping my bread in it, really good. Um, and then I also got pork, which is good. It was tender, um, and I got some red red skin potatoes, which were really good. That had like a good seasoning on them. So so and far mac and cheese. Yeah, well this that dessert. Yeah, I, I, that's my. This is my second plate. Yeah, I was just, I was just doing my review. You gotta of, do dessert on your own. Oh, hey, Daisy. You gotta do dessert on your own. Oh, well, I, I was excited. I have to agree with Steve. The quinoa, shrimp, and bacon soup is amazing. I can't remember the name of it right now. I can't remember the name of any of it because you get up to a buffet and you just start grabbing it and stuff like crazy. There is pork shoulder up there too that is on point. And there is a spicy mustard sauce that is just, oh my gosh, it's incredible. Um, so those two things, I really like those. I had some of the cornbread. I thought it was like, oh, the bread out here, it's gonna be kind of dry and crunchy. It's getting really loud in here all of a sudden. Um, and it was actually really soft, really good. Um, so really everything's been good so far. I've got a second plate now that you can see includes more pork shoulder. That's the beauty of these buffets. It's, it's really good, they cut it right there for you. I went with some pita, some fried plantains here. I don't know why I'm speaking in a southern accent. Uh, some carrots <laughs> and uh, some green beans. And so round two for me, there is a dessert I'm eyeballing. I don't know what that weird accent was. I'm eyeballing. I'm eyeballing. Uh, banana pudding. Banana bread pudding. So I gotta inhale this and then move on from there. Don't look now, Steve. I'm doing a dance because my food's so good. And the characters are on their way around. Brace yourself. You're about to meet. Daisy. Move over, Michaela. Nah. Daisy's in the nah. house. Oh! Hey, Daisy. Steve, get a picture. Get him a picture. Here, let me stand. Ooh. 
Give me that move. Steve, tell me about dessert. Oh, um, overall, I am a plain Jane sometimes, I'll admit. So my favorite was the brownie. But the carrot Boo. cake, the carrot cake was also good. The tart, I actually usually like, like, having, like, fruits and stuff on my dessert. But I just didn't love this little, like, tart raspberry. What was it? Is it passion fruit tart? Or what, what the was The passion it? fruit was the carrot cake. Oh. That was the thing that, okay, never mind. But whatever the, the But little, you're talking about the raspberry the tart. The raspberry yeah. tart wasn't my favorite. Um, and then there's like the, this little like dark chocolate, little like biscuit thing. I don't know what to call it, but it was okay. Um, and the, the like trail mix bar was okay too, but I didn't actually have the, this banana pudding thing that you're all obsessed with. But now I just realized I don't have a utensil. I have is a knife, so it might get interesting eventually. Right there. Oh, duh. Uh, <laughs> so slimy. Okay, no, actually, that's my favorite. That's pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> Dessert. Was probably just as good as the meal, to be honest. When I saw the initial offerings, I was a little disappointed. But if you know me, you know that I love bread pudding. I love bread pudding. And the bread pudding was top notch. You gotta get it with the juices on top. Gotta get in there. I hate that word. Um, but that was really good. The little uh, spice cake, yeah, you called it carrot cake, which is like the same thing. Uh, that was super good. And I, I'm, I'm gonna agree with Steve too. The brownie is actually like a really, really well made brownie. It's really good. Yeah, the raspberry tart's the only one that's not great, but it's not, it's not that it's bad. It's just, it's not as good as the other things. The flourless chocolate cake is intense. If you're like really into chocolate, I think that's that's where to go for you. But I'd say the bread pudding is a do not miss. There was also this little like fruit uh, bar. I thought it was like a trail mix thing. That's also pretty good. So really the desserts are all really good too. Dang, everything here is really good. Shoot. Not a bad thing, I guess. <laughs> our time we went in at one I don't know 145 yeah, 140 ish like and we got out and you know we take video and everything like that it's like three it's like 320 now so but that was us really taking our time yeah. we saw the characters like three or four three times or four, yeah. so they're constantly in there constantly going through but Steve your overall thoughts I was really I really had a good time I hadn't done a character dining in like really long, like since I was really little um, but I thought it was really fun. Yeah. You know, the, waiting for those characters, if you tried to do it outside of a character dining, it would be, you know, 20 minutes just to meet them yeah. once. But we got to meet them multiple You times. get a little bit more of an extended interaction yeah. in a setting like this as well. And overall, the food was really good. The um, I actually it, don't think there was anything I ate that I didn't enjoy. Yeah, you know, was, that I was like, ah, oh, this is okay. I actually got, like, I, usually I fill up my plate and then I, like, kind of pick and choose the things that I like from a buffet, but I actually, half my plates, like, weren't finished because I got too full because I liked everything. Yeah. You know yeah, I mean? like, there were things I was like, oh, I gotta go back for this, I gotta go back for this, and I try really hard not to overeat, but it, it's really difficult in here. Yeah, it's surprising, because at first you, you kind of think, like, 
Oh, well, there's a lot of options, but th it also seems like there aren't a lot of options. I don't know. It's it's mm -hmm. a weird thing, but I don't. I think that this is also a good place for people. If you're coming with family, there was a, a family station that had Steve's station set up, which is the mac and cheese, the little nuggets, the little yeah, corn dog corn. nuggets, uh, some corn. There was like ham. There was like green beans and stuff. Although I was a little offended that the regular green beans were like down so low because I wanted some, but I had to like go under the glass a little bit to get it. But um, but there's like a whole salad bar station that of course we skipped because we don't want to be too healthy. Um, breads, there was Tons, soup. Yeah, and it was like a multi, there was like fish, corn, meat, corn yeah. bread and like white bread and pita bread, bread. Yeah, pita focaccia, bread. yeah. yeah. Um, and that soup we talked about in the video earlier, but that soup is really, really good. Oh, though. I'm going to find that recipe for that soup. Yeah, the bacon shrimp yeah, soup. Mm. The quinoa in there. Mm, mm, mm. Dip, dip your stuff. bread in there. Yeah. yeah. And dessert too. I was actually, for what I walked around, I find that at buffets normally it's very meh dessert wise. Yeah. This one, uh, it seemed like it at first, but every single thing on that tray was, was really, really good. good. Yeah. Very fresh. Everything was very fresh. And while we were there, I watched them take away the fish that they were carving like three or four times. So they are rotating the meats yeah, really I, fast. I got the pork the first time around because, you know, I, I do like pork. But then when I went back, I got the salmon. I was like, oh, I'll try something different. And it was, you know, really yeah. like. The, it felt it was like falling apart as I was trying to eat it. So um, if you're watching the video, you probably notice the crowd starts to disperse a little bit toward the end of the video. It's because they're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. However, they don't make reservations between three and four. And so that's what kind of lightens it out. There's not necessarily a transition between um, lunch and dinner, but it just, just so you know. I actually think that's why we had as many character experiences as we did. So yeah. if you really want to get as your, the bang for your buck on character experiences, try to schedule it around that. That Good way, point. because we our little like room that we are in, by the end of our, our meal, we were the only ones in there for maybe the last 20 And they minutes. would just come over, they like sat down with us yeah. and stuff. Yeah, they, yeah like he was, uh, Daisy sat at the table with Rhino and you know, they took as many she selfies did. as we wanted, so. Um, yeah, so it, it's like, and I thought the characters, the, they were all really animated. They were really good. The meal was really good. The atmosphere was really good. It could probably get pretty loud in there because at one point it does get really loud, but. Um, well, and the characters I mean, you do like a little dance party yeah, kind of a thing. Yeah, the, every so often there is a little dance party. We kind of missed either end of it, but um, there is also a, uh, uh, a warning I have. Um, so where we were sitting in the back of the restaurant, if you're gonna get the hot soup and carry that from there to the back of the restaurant, it's a character experience. There are children darting everywhere. It is treacherous. And, and the bowl is like a pretty thin bowl, so your fingers are like getting hot, and there's like children darting like across the restaurant. I'm like, oh gosh, please yeah. drop this bowl right now. Now, I haven't done a lot, of, uh, a lot of character dining experiences, but this is definitely my favorite of the ones I've done, I think. I, yeah, I think for sure. Um, well, it set the bar high because this is the first one I think I've done since like when I was five years old. Oh, I did the Star Wars, the 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 one they did for Star Wars weekend with with Pete at the Hollywood and Vine, and that was not great and stressful. And the uh, Palace, uh, yeah, Crystal Palace, Crystal Palace. I've done that, which is okay. That one's fine, but the food's kind of meh. This one's pretty good, pretty solid bet all the way around. However, it is a little expensive. Between the two of us, the, this was including tip. It was sixty-one, like fifteen per person. Yeah, per person. So that's per adult. So a little less for children. They do annual pass holder discounts, so don't forget that. Um, well, and that that was with our that was pass. the annual pass holder discount. Yeah, it was. Um, so it, you you get what you pay for though, because yeah. it is really good. So yeah, there was no you know, if you, piece of food we had that was bad. If or you're here, like with, I would say if you're here as a family and you want to do the character dining experience, and you want more, like you want better food than probably the Crystal Palace, I think this is the place to go. Like this is a good alternative yeah. instead of Crystal Palace. It's an easily missed location too. It's tucked away, like we said, in Africa, but it appears to just be a bar out front because the restaurant itself is like kind of snuck. Like yeah, there's no back in the back here. There's, there's, there's no signage, signage back yeah, there. The signage is all it's one up there. one A frame out front that points you back this way to check in, and then the uh, cast members have to tell you where to go. So uh, I'm curious what your feedback. Have you guys been to Tuscarawas before? What's your favorite dining experience on property? Let us know. We'd love to try it out. Maybe. What's, what's other really good character dining? Because yeah, because we don't know. I've done in a while. Yeah. So so let us know in the comments below. Um, if you have any other questions about this video, let us know too. But I think that's going to do it. We're going to go enjoy uh, walking around now. Walk off that food. Thanks, guys.